Hello, Eric Kernice for SkySwitch. Today I'm going to show you how to log calls to a Google spreadsheet using a Yalink phone and If Then Then That, an automation website also known as IFTTT. To make this work, you'll need a Yalink phone with admin access, a Google Doc spreadsheet, and a free account with IFTTT.com. Okay, so here we are logged into the IFTTT account and I'm going to create what they call a recipe and a recipe is simply a chain of rules that says if this happens then do that so what we're going to do is we're going to create a recipe that says if a call happens on a Yalink phone then write a log as a new row in a spreadsheet in a Google Doc I'm clicking create a recipe and now to make the this rule so for this, we're going to use something called a maker channel. So uh, I've created a maker channel. And what triggers the event in the maker channel is a web request that will come from the Yalink phone. So what you need to do is you need to figure out how to get that request from the Yalink to your maker channel in IFTTT. So we're going to create an event name called calls and we're going to make a trigger with that. Now I can create the that part of this. So I'm clicking on that and I'm going to type in Google Drive and I'm going to connect to my Google account. Now uh, I've since I've already signed up for IFTTT, it already asked me for my Google account and you'll notice it knows that this is my Gmail account right up here. So I'm going to give it access to connect to my Gmail account uh, and therefore right into my Google Docs spreadsheet. So I'm clicking allow and now I'm connected. Now I'll continue to the next step. Now I'm going to choose the action. So this is what's going to happen when a call is made on the Yalink phone. And we're going to click Add Row to Spreadsheet. And it's going to ask for the spreadsheet name. So I'm just going to create a new spreadsheet called Calls. And this is what's going to be put into each row. Uh, and these are tokens that IFTTT provides. Uh, and they are occurred at the event name and then three values. IFTTT allows you to pass three values in your HTTP post. And uh, those three values are going to come from the Yalink phone. It'll all make more sense in a, in a few more minutes. And then here is simply the drive folder path in Google Docs where the spreadsheet will be stored. Now IFTT will automatically look for a spreadsheet named calls. If one doesn't exist, it will create one. So I'm going to go ahead and create this action. Okay, uh, so this is now saying that uh, if the maker event happens, uh, that it's going to add a row to the spreadsheet in my Google Drive. Uh, makes sense, I'm just going to click Create Recipe. So the recipe's been created. Now, the trick to this is knowing how to trigger the this event in IFTTT. And that's done with a web request to a, to a URL that IFTTT provides. To find that URL, you simply go to IFTTT.com slash maker, because we're using the maker channel. And they're going to tell you right here, it says how to trigger events. And it's going to give you the key that you need to trigger these events. If I click on how to trigger events, it will give me the URL that I need to go to to trigger the event. So the event name is going to be called calls. And if I wanted to test it, I could click this test it button and that's going to trigger an event. Now, uh, going back here to my recipes, if I were to look at the log, it should show that an event was just triggered. Let me refresh this. And there we see the event was triggered. Now that, that's just a test from the maker channel. What I need to do now is to put that URL 
into the Yalink phone. And to do that, we're going to use action URLs in the Yalink phone. So first, let me copy this. Okay, to make this a little bit easier, I've pasted the URL from the Maker channel into a notepad. And you'll notice that I've added three values at the end of the URL. And I've paired these values with uh, variables that come from Yalink. So the variables from Yalink are available from uh, the Yalink admin guide. I've put them here just for your reference. But you'll notice that they're prepended with the dollar sign. And this shows you what each of them means. So I'm going to be using three of these, the local, remote, and MAC address. And I'm going to append them to the end of the URL uh, so that when the Yalink phone posts them to the Maker channel, they get recorded and put into the Google spreadsheet. So I'm now going to take this full URL. Oh, and one thing, Yalink phones don't like this, this uh, HTTPS, so I'm going to remove the S there. That's an important point. So now it's just HTTP. So I'm going to copy this whole URL, and I'm going to put it into my Yalink phone. This is a T28, but uh, any Yalink will work. And once I'm authenticated, I simply go to the Features key and then the Action URL page. Now you'll notice this Action URL page has many different types of actions and it's really very convenient because you can have the phone log any of these events to uh, the Google spreadsheet or to anywhere else that Maker supports. Mm -hmm. So for our purposes, I'm going to use the incoming call URL and the outgoing call URL and I'm pasting the URL that I copied I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Now it should be a, a simple matter of making a phone call, having that event go to IFTTT, and having IFTTT push it into my Google spreadsheet. So I'm going to make a call. And now, when I go to my Google spreadsheet, we see that there is a calls document. And if I click on that, we see that there's two entries. The first entry was that test we did a little while ago. And the second entry is the call I just made. You'll notice I made the call from extension 1004, and I called this phone number. If we go back to the IFTTT website, and we look at my recipes, we see the recipe I created. And if I click on the logs icon, we see that it was just triggered a minute ago. It's that simple to get calls from a Yalink phone into a Google spreadsheet using IFTTT. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for your time.